Today we're taking booze in the kitchen and making Aztec Orgia. For this recipe, you're gonna need a large measuring cup, a pot, a pan, a wooden spoon, strainers, a knife and a cutting board, a bottle for the finished syrup, and optionally, a food processor. The ingredients are avocado pits, sugar, water, and optionally, vodka as a preservative. This is an alternate way to make orgeat, where you use avocado bits instead of almonds. When you say orgeat today, you mean a type of almond syrup. The specific style of almond syrup, of course, varies. Some are nutty, rich, simple syrups, some are extremely flowery, and some are like a super sweetened almond milk. It's a syrup that's been associated with almonds for over 300 years. This recipe uses an unconventional source to flavor the syrup. The concept behind this one came from Trash Tiki, a project by Kelsey Ramage and Ian Griffiths, who were a couple of nomadic bartenders who used to travel the world setting up pop-up bars. And along the way, they'd give presentations to local bartenders, where they'd show them how to turn items they'd normally throw away into alternate ingredients. They'd take husks, rinds, seeds, pulp, and other bits you'd normally toss out, and they'd create secondary products out of them. They'd take what's supposed to be trash and breathe new life into it, hence the name. Now, these Second Life products aren't exactly one-to-one -one replacements for any juices or syrups, but they are fun substitutions. This is one of them, and this orgeat doesn't require buy-in almonds. It's made from something you'd throw away after eating an avocado. The avocado pits or seeds have a different taste than almonds. It's definitely distinct, but it has that nutty flavor you want to get from an orgeat. And it inherently has some of those flowery components you get from adding orange flower water to your orgeat. It's like an orgeat with an exotic twist to it. I created and modified a couple tiki drinks to be made with this orgeat. However, you can feel free to slip it into your Mai Tais and other tiki drinks, as well as things like whiskey sours. It'll provide a subtle change of pace for those recipes. It won't be a night and day change, especially for drinks with a lot of other strong ingredients, but there will be a difference. Avocado bits were once used in Aztec and Mesoamerican remedies, which is why I named it Aztec Orgeat. It's not as if the Aztecs made anything like this syrup that I'm aware of, but they did have various uses for avocado pits in their cuisines and in their medicine. And besides, the name had a nice ring to it. It sounds better than avocado pit orgeat. As with other homemade recipes, I created some labels for this one, which as usual, I'll make available for my Patreon subscribers. Now, the idea behind this one came from Trash Tiki, but the method I'm using came from the 12 bottle bar orgeat recipe. I just adapted it for avocado bits. Also, this recipe is going to make around two cups or about 500 mils of finished syrup. So when you make it at home, you're going to get a smaller yield. I just made a larger batch to fill up this huge crew bottle, which made it look better on camera. But don't worry, you're going to have a more reasonable batch. Let's start with the avocados. Slice all the way around them, open them up, work your knife into the seed, twist it, and pull it out. Wash any excess avocado meat off the pits then set those aside to dry. You'll want to let them dry out at least overnight, if not a day or two. After they're dried, you'll want to peel off the outer shell. Sometimes it comes off in chunks, and sometimes you'll have to shave it off. Once that's done, you'll have the peeled seeds, and you'll want to give them a rough chop. Get them down to sort of chiclet-sized chunks. Then we'll give those a dry toast. Just put them on the pan with no oil, and toast them on medium heat for a few minutes. Stir them around as you toast them. This process won't take too long. You just want to draw some of the flavors out of the seeds, but you don't want to burn them. And you'll notice they get redder and redder as they toast. You'll have to pardon the appearance of my cast iron. I promise you it's not normally this ratty looking. Once they're toasted, remove them from heat and let them cool down. Next, chop them up into smaller bits. Measure about two ounces or 60 mils by volume. Add those to your pot. The rest will stick into a food processor and grind them into a rough meal. If you don't have a food processor, you'll just want to chop them up a lot more. The idea is you want two consistencies of seeds, one a chunkier rough chop and the other a finer chopped version. Measure out two cups or 500 mils of sugar, add that to the pot. Measure a cup or 250 mils of water, add that to the pot. Then add your finely chopped avocado meal to the pot. Turn it on high heat and stir it occasionally until it comes to a boil. Let it boil for a minute or two. Give it another stir and remove it from heat. 
gently place the lid on top so it doesn't fully cover the pot. And let the mixture cool down overnight, roughly about 12 hours. After that, strain it out with a large strainer. You want to stir and press down on the solids to get as much syrup out of it as you can. Then optionally, add an ounce of vodka to act as a preservative. And give that a quick stir. After tasting it, if you find you like your orange out with a little more flowery profile, feel free to add a couple dashes of orange flower water. Finally, stick in a funnel and pour your orange out in your bottle using a fine mesh strainer. That'll help pick up any of those smaller bits. Or if you're making a bigger batch in one of these crew bottles, you can skip the funnel by unscrewing the base and pouring it in that way. Being able to open it from the bottom makes it a little easier to clean, but it also makes it easier to fill. Then slap on a label, and like most homemade syrups, you want to store this one in the fridge. And there you have it, a way to turn your trash into tiki. Aztec Orjot. Enjoy. Please support this channel by clicking on the Patreon link here, where you can unlock exclusive videos and other bonus content. Check out some more videos on the channel, and be sure to subscribe. For links to books, bar supplies, and more, as well as the printed recipe, check out the description below.